Oh my gosh, y'all, this is take two of me doing this whole voice over and over again. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we getting ready to do another makeup and hair transformation, y'all. We doing wide wigs, and they sent me their loose wave hair and the 22 inches in their 360 frontal wig. And look at these curls, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all know I don't like curly hair, but this one, I'm kind of feeling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So the wig came pre-plucked. You guys are going to see that. And um looked like the knots were bleached a little bit. And I just wanted to go in and customize it a little bit more for my liking because I wanted to do a minimal baby hair kind of look. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and pluck. You guys, I like to pluck behind the hairline and go in and comb out to see what I plucked and what I lost. Okay, so make sure I'm not making no bald spots or anything. So, just go ahead and watch me do that part. Sit back, watch. It's early in the morning, you guys. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. And I'm aggravated that my whole voiceover didn't say, man, like, what? 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 Anyways, I'll be back to explain the next thing that I feel like I need to explain. Okay? <laughs> So the lace was already pretty transparent you guys but i wanted to make it a little bit more again customized to my skin so i went in with my maybelline foundation applied it to the lace and whenever i get these laces um i like to um cut a little bit of the lace off so i can see what i'm doing because this is like a wedding veil bro like what the hell i can't even see what i'm doing so i like to cut it out my way and then go ahead more with customization and then i cut off the full lace when i need to um as you can see the wig fit pretty good you guys and it was um very you know close to my hairline so i barely had to cut anything from the sideburns or my ears you guys so it's like they knew it's like they knew the girl they knew the kid you know what i'm saying it's like they knew you know i worked with them before so they're like hmm i could tell what her hairline looked like through the screen so yeah i'm playing i'm playing but it, it pretty much fit you guys and the straps in the back made it even more secure and felt more snug on my head so i used my um even lace gel glue on the sides of my head and then I use my got to be spray on the hairline don't know if you got a girl don't mean the disrespect but thoughts of you rule my world I even dream of you I swear visions of you and I see you all around my way been meaning to say hi but I'm just way too shy Alright you guys, so for the eyes, I'm going to be using my Morphe X Jane Charles palette, of course. But to prime or get my lids prepped, I'm going to be using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to be using that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going in with the red shade first. And I like to use the shade that I'm going to basically make the most bold um, in my crease first. And one thing I noticed about this shade, you guys, is that it oxidizes a little bit. Uh, like you see how it came on more bright and then as I blend it it gets a little darker, but that's okay It just means you need to layer your shadows shadows more Shatters really 
Anyway, so I'm gonna go in with that orangey shade to blend it and give me a transition. Um, you guys are gonna see in this process that it looks like a big messy blob, but it's gonna come together, you know what I'm saying? Trust the motherfucking process. Trust your girl. If you didn't trust me, you wouldn't have came to this video and you wouldn't have subscribed. So with that being said, trust the process. If my nephew keeps coughing in the background, I don't know what else to tell him because you know, he just wants to make known that he's here in this video. Because he wasn't coughing at all before. Anyway. Sometimes I even touch myself Imagining your pleasure, baby gonna go ahead and cut the crease again and then this part is pretty self-explanatory pack on the shadows um pack on the shadows do not like swipe them swipe or no motherfucking swiping pack the motherfucking shadows okay never in my life what i thought would have been using the dora thing in one of my makeup tutorials <laughs> anyways my nyx white liquid liner to cut that crease a little bit more you know give me some dimension give me some texture so i already moisturized my face with my nivea cream and my tarte maracuja oil the gold flex in it and now i'm going to use these two nyx products one is like a liquid highlighter and it's the way we glow in the gold shade and then i'm gonna go and use my nyx total control drop foundation in the shade mahogany and y'all i only had to use one drop because on the box it says like one plus drop um light coverage two plus drop medium three plus full nah man i used one drop for each side of my face and that bit was like i was like whoa i had to wipe some off i used to think about you daily all the good times baby i didn't realize that you're a no good nigga and you ain't right so for concealer i'm using the new concealers well, they're new to me. Makeup Revolution in the shades. Um, oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. But I'm using two. This shade was a little bit darker. Like, it's my skin shade. But I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter. But it's okay. Because I'm going to go in with a lighter shade. That's called C13. Um, and then I'm going to blend that out. Name, please. And I was so hypnotized. Because I thought you were so damn fine. And we started off kicking in. And then next thing you know, I caught feelings, I caught feelings, I caught feelings. And we started off kicking in. And then next thing you know, I caught feelings, I caught feelings, I caught feelings. And we started off kicking in. And then next thing you know, I caught feelings. Now I'm sitting here wondering what happened now. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with me. I was in a rush to like set this concealer because it looks so flawless. So I'm using my Maybelline powder in the shade 30. And then I realized I forgot to cream contour because I like to do all my cream contouring first or my cream products first, then use powder. So this is a Makeup Revolution foundation stick. And I'm using it as a contour product because NYX discontinued the one I like to use. All the good times, baby. I didn't realize that you're no good nigga. So now I'm going to set my um, lower half of my face 
And then I'm going to sweep that all off right away because I did not want to bake. I just wanted to set it. I want to keep that glowy look. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark um, to set that and take away the white cast. And then for under my eyes, I'm going to use uh, my NYX um, Cinnamon Spice Powder. And then on my contour area areas, I can't talk. It's too early for this, man. I'm using my Fit Me Powder in the shade Mocha. Using that same act, cause you trying to get me back. You claiming you changed, boy, but I know that you just the same. And I was so hypnotized, cause I thought you were so damn fine. And we started off kicking in, and then next thing you know, I caught feelings, I caught feelings, I caught feelings. do my little moles um i have one on my nose that disappears and i think it's really cute but i like to add the extra two and i like to use my um eyeliner to give my eyes an illusion on the lower lash line that my eyelashes are fuller um that's why i do the dots first so i'm gonna go in with my l'oreal telescopic carbon black mascara always using that and for lashes i'm using my shop makeup lashes shout out to nini who sent me these lashes um, so bomb, so high quality, like you can reuse these and they're easy to apply. Um, and I'm using my Jeffree Star X Manium UA Eclipse Highlighter, very nice champagne -y highlighter, you guys, despite from what you may think of these individuals. This, I bought this like two years ago, but the, the color is there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I used to think about you daily. All the good times, baby I didn't realize that you're a no good nigga and you ain't right I thought I could trust you, but I was a damn fool You a spin game, you didn't care about me at the end of the day Cause we started So, um, using my Ruby Kisses lip liner in the shade Gingerbread And then I'm gonna be using my, um, MAC lipstick in the shade Naturally Transformed and that's pretty much it. Now I'm about to make sure my wig is on right. Make sure everything is slaying all day. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> White wigs, you outdid yourself with these curls. I can't wait to wash it and see if it's going to dry the same. But let me know what this look reminds you of. Like, what do you guys think of the look? What do you guys think of the hair? Look at that hairline. Undetectable, unclockable. Yeah, it's giving me slow mo. You know what I'm saying? Love this hair. Didn't give me no problems. The lace did amazing. It actually has a middle part, but I preferably wanted the side part. Um, but yeah, y'all, they won me over with the curly hair. I'll see y'all in the next one. Make sure to check out my other video. Love y'all. Bye. After hours, it's after hours. Let's get it poppin'. Let's hop in the shower. Let's hop in the shower. We touchin' the kids in the